Welcome to EVO 10 ECU Flash Training Part 3. In this video, we're going to take a look at working with our EVO Scan and our Megalog Viewer software. Both of these are used for data logging purposes. So data logging is when we capture data that's streamed out of the OBD2 port on our EVO 10, and we can analyze that data to figure out what is going on. How is the fuel delivery for our engine? How's the spark timing? How's the variable cam? How's the boost control? We can evaluate what is going on and learn how to work with and analyzing that data to be able to play it back and figure out what changes we need to make in our ECU flash software so that we're going to be getting our calibration proper and our engine running the way we'd like. We'll find that Evo scans where we capture the log data and then Megalog viewers where we play it back and analyze that data. We're going to take a look at both, just getting some general overview here in this video and then learning how to work with them a little bit more specific when we're looking at something like our spark timing tuning or our part throttle or wide open throttle fuel tuning. We're going to have a lot to learn, so let's jump into this video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at working with our data logging with our EVO 10 applications. In the last video, we learned how to work with our ECU Flash software to do the reading and writing process, saving our files, general editing techniques. Now, the ECU Flash software is only gonna allow reading and writing. It's not gonna allow us to capture the data to be able to analyze what is going on with our programming that we're going in and sending into our ECU or how the vehicle is operating. That's what we need data logging for. So data logging, you can kind of think of it as using a OBD2 scan tool. If your scan tool can look at live data out of your vehicle, you're able to look at throttle position or engine RPM or all kinds of other parameters, and you can review what's going on. You can also go in and check and clear codes and the general kind of functionality of an OBD2 scan tool is very, very basic. Now, on a high-end scan tool, you can actually log and capture the data as you're live streaming it out. So you can actually save that information and play it back for later review. That would help for diagnostic purposes. And that's exactly what we're doing with data logging here, but we're not gonna be accomplishing it with our ECU Flash software. We're gonna be using Evo Scan. That's gonna allow us to actually data log. Now, Evo Scan and ECU Flash are both going to be using our Tactrix 2.0 cable. So the cable's gonna be plugged into the OBD2 port that's gonna be plugged into your laptop, and you're gonna be toggling back and forth between ECU Flash and Evo Scan. ECU Flash to do your flashing process, Evo Scan to do your data logging and capturing the data. So Evo Scan will allow you to see what's going on, visually watch the live data coming out of the ECU, and then also save it to a file and then play it back. Now we're gonna have a third software we're gonna work with for data analysis. That's gonna be called Megalog Viewer HD software. That software is gonna allow us to analyze the data that we've captured in Evo Scan. So we're gonna take a look at all this and the process of how this works within this video here. So the first thing that we need to do is go and download our EvoScan software. Now, we're gonna jump into the web browser. We're gonna to go to evoscan.com. evoscan.com is gonna be where we actually obtain the software. So we have to go and purchase EvoScan. It's not free, it costs $25. It's well worth the price to pay for the software. We're gonna go here to products, click on the link right here and scroll down to the middle of the page we can find this is the option that we want to choose if we click on this this is going to be the paid option here for 25 bucks now once you purchase it you're going to get an email that's going to give you your registration id and the link to go and download the software and once you obtain the software i went through that already here and i actually have it open this is what evo scan is going to look like so there's some things we need to know about evo scan we need to make sure are set up properly before we can start to log and work with our evo 10 application First and foremost, up at the top we find open port 1.3 or open port 2.0. This is gonna be defining the cable that you're working with. Now in this situation, we're gonna be working with an open port 2.0 cable, and we're not going to be running a 1.3 cable here on the Evo 10, so let's click open port 2.0. Once we select this option, it automatically defaults to CAN 2006 plus Evo 10, so make sure this is toggled on as well. It's gonna be telling the uh, Evo scan, what kind of vehicle you're gonna be working with. So we're gonna make sure that these two are set in that manner. The next thing we need to get out of the way here is if we go to logging, we go down here, you wanna make sure your disable multi-threading is toggled on. That's gonna be improving the functionality of your Evo scan software when we're working with it. Um, you can find it can bog down if multi-threading is enabled. So um, that may or may not be something you wanna explore. I usually keep a disable, I usually disable the multi-threading um, just to speed up the Evo scan functionality. Um, that's going to be my personal recommendation. Um, you can also speed up your Evo scan software a little bit in your logging process. If you click data log to screen, you toggle this off, 
that'll, when you're looking here and you initiate. Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here and you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.